<clears throat> oh, are you guys ready to to hit the big time today? We're farming all day and we're going to make some huge money. It's going to be nuts. Yeah, I played uh, Baldur's Gate 3. I played, uh, I did a playthrough and a half. I finished it and then started again immediately after. I loved it so much. Um, I only got about halfway through the second one, though. Before giving up. I, I had to give up. It was, it was too much. Too, too much Bald I If such a thing exists, too much Baldur's Gate 3. It was so much fun, though. I loved it. All right, let's get the greenhouses filled up and skip through some of these cold months. Be nice. Whoa. Were they empty? No, okay, they weren't. They just needed a little, another little top up. I think it fills up both of the expanders at the same time by the looks of it. The greenhouses appear to be full now. Do 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 they're running out. They're running out of uh, grub. <laughs> Floodlight for the greenhouses would be good, but I'm, I'm not sure if I want them there still. I'm, I'm still thinking about where I want stuff to go. I'll be happy to get rid of this silo eventually, actually. It's annoying. That chickens. Yeah, there's uh, there's there's um, lights, but they cost money. They're not uh, they're not mission critical at the moment. Buying stuff that makes money is what we're after right now. Unfortunately, lights only cost money. They don't make us any money. I'm trying to run a business here. I did plop a tree for 1600 Yeah, I know, but look it. You have to enjoy yourself while making money as well. And I didn't know it was going to cost 1600 for the tree. That's the truth. Uh, let me just check to see. I think wood was fine, right? Wood, well, actually, you could do with chopping some more. We've gone through a lot. thousand liters of wood. Ugh. 
the big one. 35.8 meters. Full metal jack. Whoa. the big cedar yet we almost have enough for it though <clears throat> one more uh one more time skip cycle and we and it's ours got 200k just the, the big one there was some other stuff that we wanted to get first though we want to get the, the uh oil mill first I think we're going to have to get a, a wood trailer soon with the little picky-uppy arm because uh, it, it's going to be harder and harder to move wood into here past a certain point. As it gets built up, eh? Easier to just come in here with a trailer with a lot of wood. Okay, 20,000 liters of wood. <coughs> Flower reserves are starting to wane a little. But luckily we have a lot of wheat from last year's harvest. We could turn into flour if we need to, to keep the bread production going. Hey, what's up, Christmas crustacean? I know it's almost a week uh, to Christmas. December just blasted by. It's crazy. Furniture is is decent money. Yeah, it's slow though. It's slow money. Planks were nice and quick money, but furniture is, is definitely worth more. We could up furniture production by getting um, what you call it. More carpentries is what, is, is what I'm looking for. Sorry, my brain just gave up there. Same with uh, bread. We could up bread production just by getting more bakeries. Or, if we don't want to have multiple of the same buildings, we could just get that mod where we can upgrade factories, which I don't think is too cheaty. It, it's just, uh, I think it's just a nice way of Increasing your production limits, it still costs a lot to upgrade the factories. It's not like a free upgrade. It costs even more than just placing another one. But it just means that your building footprint is less, which I'm I'm alright with, honestly. Do I always work in the dark? I don't know, it just always seems to be nighttime.
There, it'll be daytime soon now. We'll advance it. Beautiful December morning. The grass is tipped with a little tiny bit of frost. This is a good time of year for egg selling, isn't it? December normally? It's pretty good for selling eggs. left 5,000 liters Ooh. it's getting dark again I can't believe it <laughs> <laughs> It's dark so early in the winter, sorry. Oh, actually, I need to check to see the, if the fields need anything in December. I'm sure I checked them, though. No weeds or anything? No, okay, we're good. Banana. All right, how much honey did we get? Fifty liters. That's not a lot of honey. Fill her up. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. If only I could... I know. If only there was a way for me to see what I was doing. Get a load together and sell it. Oops. Selling a load. got two breads. Whoops. Some nice
nice ground bread. The wolf hated that. Drop the bread on the ground and he is pissed. Alright, see if there's any furniture and then we can go sell. One furniture. All right. Yeah, we got enough for the cedar now. I think we should get the um, oil factory. And check the sails. Ho ho! It's a baler. There's a vehicle transport. There's an auger wagon. None of the stuff we actually need right now. Eggs. Hey, 36k. So consistent. Our current production, after a greenhouse cycle empties out, is 36k. It'll be more once we add more production to the cycle. make much money from the bakery because the bread just takes so long to uh, to do. Like, it'll make money, it'll make good money over time, but it's not quick like uh, other productions that we've, we've got. But we will kind of just move away from those quicker productions anyway, right? Naturally. <clears throat> Naturally. What's up, Giso? <laughs> um, I'm just trying to find a good spot to put this, uh, this oil mill, but it might just end up going over here somewhere. Production, factories, it's a sugar mill, it's a cereal factory, grain mill, which we have already. There's a dairy, carpentry, bakery. The heck is the oil mill? It's a, it's a tall building, isn't it? Is it this one? Ah, this is it, 80 grand for this. I'm gonna put it here, I think. 
Good. done it. Um, decoration, lights. We do need uh, some lights up around here. I'm not sure which ones we want, though. This one does, like, a double. There's street lights, but these are too small, I think. This is the big boy one. Something like that. It's only a thousand bucks for this light. It's pretty good. Can't place it anywhere here. There, how's that? Better? A bit more light? I don't want to put one over here because I'm not sure how I'm going to lay this bit out yet. I have an idea, but I just don't know just yet. When are we going to start growing opium? Alright, that is the oil mill purchased. So we will be getting uh, all the canola harvested and we're going to chuck it in there. Gonna be great. This is my jam too, I love this one. This is my favorite, favorite song from this playlist. January. Any weeds? Nope. Any sales? Nope. Do 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 
Hey, look, the sun is rising. Do, 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 do. Oops. Thousand liters. Mm -hmm. All right, good another cycle done for the greenhouses. No, it's one day a month now. We, we dropped it because we can do everything we need to do in a day. We'll increase it when we start running out of time. loading up. Maybe we got more honey this time. I don't know. This seems like a small load somehow. Maybe not. Do -do 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 87 liters this time. A little bit more. My kids absolutely buzzing for Christmas. Yeah, like every year. Yeah, they are. I can't wait. Good morning, chickens. I'm here to collect your eggs. Still got lots of flour for furniture, planks. We got 17,000 liters of planks in the furniture factory right now. No oil. The greenhouses will need to be topped up again soon. One furniture. Look at the size of this place now. It's getting huge. We built all this. We started with a shovel and a wheelbarrow <laughs> and a dream.
Yeah, I still got this shovel. It's some. It's. I think it's by the water tower. Producing my own flat pack furniture now. 38 for that. Bit of a bumper. A bumper load. got enough for the cedar now which is pretty much all the stuff we wanted to get uh, this year right now that we got the uh, oil factory make, maybe make another furniture factory pump out the furniture yeah we got the oil building I'm not sure we're at a point now where we really need to decide, are we going to get this mod where we can upgrade factories or are we just going to place multiples of factories? How's my weekend? Yeah, it's good. I watched Home Alone this weekend. I took my kids to see it. They they have it uh, re-showing in the cinemas over here. Probably everywhere else as well, I'd imagine. But Placing multiples is a pain to balance. Yeah, and also it's just a bit... I don't want to have like 20 of the same building. You know what I mean? I don't mind uh, just upgrading a building. I like the idea of just upgrading an existing building. Because then we can have like a nice layout and have more room for fields and trees and stuff. I guess that's the, the cheaty aspect of it, right? You leave less of a footprint so there's more space for stuff. Go for style. Yeah. Don't forget, we've got that warehouse mod as well that we're going to be uh, using. That's going to take up a lot of space. What is it called? Fac factory upgrade? No. Lime factory, farm factory, juice factory, sugar factory. Donuts factory, a dessert factory, a manure factory. An ass factory, yeah. No, I can't find it. Production, flower and feed. Radio volume? Where's the music coming from here?
its upgradable factories. Upgradable factories in the upgradable in the gameplay one. This is on all of Mod Hub. Course play, drone delivery, universal auto load. Order manager. Production revamp. Oh, there's no E in upgradable. That's why. Upgradable factories. Upgrade your production facilities. With this mod, you will be able to increase your production speeds and storages, so you no longer need to place multiple productions. Features. Production chains now have levels that you can increase. Upgrading a factory will cost you slightly more each level than buying a new building. Upgrading costs is vastly compensated by the gain in production speed. More production speed means more storage space. Because you don't have to build a new facility, you save on production costs. Factory value is increased when upgrading, so you can claim your investment back when selling a facility. Yeah, that sounds fine. Note that the maximum level you can reach is 10. As of yet, this mod does not support multiplayer. Sure. Yeah. Hey, Yogscast, thanks so much for the raid and welcome. Welcome, raiders. Okay, we're going to install this and try it out. Upgradable factories. I think this could be really good, actually. There's some gas pumps in here, too. We'll go with that for now. Christmas Crustacean says House Flipper 2, the mechanics are all different. Feels a little bit jank like when House Flipper came out before they refined it. So, what would you give it out of five? What's what what score would you give it out of five? Three point one four six nine out of five? Okay. Alright, so we might be just upgrading our bakery instead of making new bakeries, which I think is lo a lot better. And then we can make some more use of this. Um... Oh, I don't think I'm parked in the right spot here. Now I'm definitely parked in the right spot. Oh yeah, now we can upgrade. Okay, so bread. If we want to upgrade bread, it's going to cost us 50, 55000 for a level 2 bakery. <coughs> so it increases the... So it doubles the production. It just uh, doubles the cycles per month for the same cost as a bakery building, which will go up as it levels up. I think that's, I honestly think that's fine. I think that's great. Do, 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 do. Ready for some night loading? Do, do, can you upgrade um, the chicken coops and stuff? Actually, those I don't mind placing multiples of, because at least they look interesting, because there's animals and whatnot. Looks like we got some great demand at the, at the farm shop, gang. I'm in full Scooby-Doo mode now. Ooh, 
Thunder Creep quick equipment. This is a, a fuel... T I'm going to buy this. I am actually going to buy this. It's on sale. That's good. Look at this thing. Ooh. That'll be great to just have uh, fuel at the farm and not have to go all the way back to fuel up. <laughs> no, there's no fuel pump. I was looking, and they don't have them. They only have uh, methane and uh, electric stuff. Materials missing. All right. Oh, weird. There's still quite a bit of water left on this side. The mushrooms are are out though. It is February. Um, if we want to um, plant some oats, it's got to be next month. So if we're going to buy a field, we're going to have to do it pretty soon. And start prepping it. I think we're going to buy 57 next. It means that any field that we create will have to use the old cedar for, which I'm not thrilled about doing. I think there's some other opportunities to plant throughout the month. Throughout this uh, this part of the uh, year, I should say, actually, maybe we should just get the cedar next and then go for it. So, if you look at the calendar, we can still plant in April and May, not oats, though. We could potentially just plant some soybeans and sell them. Or we could just get, we could plant some more sorghum in April or May. I mean, we can still plant uh, oats in um, April as well. We can make uh, enough money by then to get the cedar and buy the new land. Rise through the storm, Viking gods. Rise through the pain, Viking gods. Viking gods. Viking gods. Viking, Viking gods. gods. Viking gods. Hey, um, Frockart Fr 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 Thank you so much for the um, for the thousand bits. 
Twitch, thanks for the 150 um, bits on top of those thousand bits as well. Hey, look at this. The bakery is pumping. Three breads in one cycle. We spent 55 grand to increase our cycle money by probably a thousand pounds. <laughs> it's probably going to be 37 now instead of 36. Red looks good when it's loaded, though. Let's go. Jesus on the farm to turn all this bread into into wine, some fine wine. We'll sell that for some money. How to spend 20k on fuel? Yeah, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be cheap, and it takes so long to load it up here too. Maybe we do it over here instead. Actually, we don't need to fill this up right, right now. I bought it because it was cheap and on sale, and we will. Um, where is it? Oh, here it is. I'm not, yeah, 91 liters of fuel. That's exactly how much I wanted. Yeah, it was only 13k for this trailer. We have money at the moment. Seemed like a good one to get for for future stuff. Bought the shed yesterday, yeah. It was only 10k.
I wonder if you can upgrade the production cycles of these greenhouses. With this, with the factory upgrade mod. I wonder if you can upgrade the production cycles of the vanilla greenhouses with the factory upgrade mod. Let's check. Flowers? Yeah, you can. 144 cycles per month? Level 2? Oh god, that, that would just be insane, right? You can upgrade the uh, the plank production as well, which we're not really struggling with. I think we, we want to upgrade the furniture production, right? Yeah, upgrading the, the... I think upgrading those greenhouses is cheaty. We got rid of those greenhouses and got the vanil the vanilla ones and grew lettuce and upgraded those, it wouldn't be so bad, right? workout here. <laughs> Pretty good workout. What's this thing? A hole. It's a big hole. I think that's the one that we got. I think that's the one we have already, right? The the weeder. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade the furniture factory. We need a we need to get a cedar though. First. Which we're gonna we're gonna grab that first. And then probably another field and then probably upgrade the furniture factory. The, those planks will still be there. So it's fine. And then we'll need to get a log trailer, I think, if we're gonna upgrade the furniture factory, right? Because we'll be consuming more planks. Faster. Fourteen thousand liters. Alright, we're good to go. No more weeds. Oh it's snow no more.
Good enough. He's out there. He's out there, he's not happy. Still a lot of water in here, but there's none in the mushroom side. Yes, chef. It's raining. I think the water is like uh, spreading weirdly, right? Because we should be getting it balancing out over here, but it's not. This has been empty for some time, and this one is still going. This thing, a skid steer loader. Vroom, vroom. I think they must be taking from this middle one, right? So if we wanted to balance this out better, we'd put this one on the other side of here. Try it like that. See if it works. Or move them both into the middle would probably make more sense, I suppose. And then it would balance them out even better. It's got 13,000 liters. Oh, this filled up a little bit, though. They must still somehow be connected, even though they're far away, right? No, 
Ooh, two furnitures today. And four breads. Bread production is looking so good right now. So hot. This bread production is so hot right now. Okay, in terms of production, how is flour, 27,000 liters of flour still? So we might need to do a, a top up. But man, the, the chickens just use so little grain. It's, I mean, we still haven't even used up the sorghum. So we haven't even started on the wheat yet. That bread is stacked a little precariously at the back. This will be a pretty big load, actually. More bread and more furniture. Okay. Give or take. Fields are looking fine. Canola. I'm gonna get a big, a big yield. So we should, should be good to rock and roll now. So this one has 14,000 liters, and this one has 14,000 liters. All right. Let's go. Let's go.
What, um, how much wood did we have? I didn't even look. 18,000 liters. Okay. Looks like uh, we're good on all of our levels, I think. There is a mower for sale. I don't think we really need one just yet. We can buy the cedar after this load. And we'll be some way towards buying our next field, which it might be too late to actually plant anything on it, but let's just see. It's doing it again. There's only 4,000. Or does it just use more? It doesn't seem to have balanced out like I thought it would. Do they use the exact same amount? I need to check, actually. Mushrooms might use more water. In which case, it was a waste of time reconfiguring the water stuff. Yeah, see, there's still like 5,000 in there, and then this is done. So now we're just waiting for flowers to come out. Let's see. Flowers use 100 water. Yeah, no, they use the exact same amount of water. It's, it's odd, isn't it? It's like the, the balancing is all fucked. You can build cell points in this. It's a mod, though. It's uh, No Man's Land gives you um, cell points. They're like 5k each. stuff on sale there is a um, sugar sugar cane harvester let's make sure that there's nothing to be done to the fields this month no furniture.
four breads. Nice. Whoops. weather, huh? Alright. Go sell this. Hey, the bread's getting soaked. There's no way to cover it. We need to get a big, uh, a big trailer. Close, holy shit. In April now, in May, we can still plant soybeans, sorghum, corn, and grapes. I don't know if we're going to make it this year for a new field. Not if we want to get the cedar. I think getting the cedar is the priority, right? Since we're going to be harvesting the canola pretty soon and then looking to reseed. It's got to be. We'll just take the hit. We still went, we got wheat to feed them right after all the sorghum's gone. It's not much left. up the rest of it and then we'll switch over to uh, 
to feeding them uh, the wheat that we harvested, right? Because we have lots of that. We're going to have to use some of that for um, making flour as well, right? It'll be, uh, it'll be like a half and half. Let me just see how much we actually have. Ninety-one thousand liters of wheat. There's a bit of corn left and a bit of sorghum. Barley is the best for feeding chickens. We're just kind of feeding them with what with stuff we have left over. The sorghum we just we had uh, like a little bit of, but not enough to really be worth selling. So we're just feeding it to them. And we grew wheat so that we could make flour, and then we're just gonna feed the chickens with it as well. We're not quite at the stage yet where we have to grow anything specific for them. I don't think. sell this. We don't need it anymore. We're getting the big one. Once we buy this, that'll be everything we set out to buy this year. Which is great. Just in time, too. She doesn't work at 4 o'clock in the morning, unfortunately. Lazy. Oh, it's a big boy, isn't it? It's a really big one. Look at how big it is. No, I haven't upgraded the tractor. Oh, 
Oh, we need, we're gonna need to get some fertilizer for this too, right? Solid fertilizer. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to do that. I think I got the biggest cedar now. progress that's been made. Understandable though, I mean we've come a long way. And after the canola is harvested, I think oil sells for quite a bit, doesn't it? Oil, so it's canola oil? Uh, I don't think we're going to need to. I think 90,000 liters of wheat will see us through another year with the chickens and stuff, right? So we might just plant canola again. Keep the keep the mill fed. Makes sense. Yeah, Big Red's powerful enough to handle it, yeah. It needs three hundred horsepower. Big Red is like three something. Three sixty five or something. to do in April? Nope. Nothing. Tank and a Mack truck. Next, uh, next big purchase is going to be uh, more land, which we can almost get. Another load, and we can get some more land. I think. I've done most of my farm chores for today. Try to get another field ready, so if we want to plant more canola this year, we can get a, a little bit extra. And then next year, I think we'll probably have to do a, another big wheat harvest, right? Which we'll get some straw from and stuff too.
And then after that, we can probably have, like, some fields dedicated to certain crops, right? So that we can manage production a little bit better. Because right now, we're just sort of chucking volume at everything. There's probably a, a nice balance in there somewhere. And then it'll keep us busy for more parts of the year. Instead of having all this downtime where we have to speed up time because there's just nothing else happening. give it this side a top up because it always runs out before the flowers. It was thirsty. They just play the same song twice in a row. Now we got too many mushrooms. It's May! Alright, it's uh... It's run out. I think it, it... Is it not the exact same? What the fuck? Am I losing my mind here? Is it not the exact same rate? Same cycles, same... It's weird. I don't know how this runs out so much quicker than the other side. Like, they, they, I know that they're sharing it somehow, but it doesn't make sense how they are doing it. Look, there's still so much left in here. Gonna be me. <laughs> uh, good one, good one. It's gonna be me. <laughs> this will this will be a big load, actually. Bigger than usual. Anything to do in May? No weeds? Oh my god. Look at this. 240 grand for this? Oh yeah, baby. 160 grand for this thing? Look at that. It's got the it's got the loader, it's got the truck built in and everything. That's what I'm talking about.
Yes, chef. Two furnitures. I can see them. I can see the two furnitures. Oh my god, there's five breads. I almost just ran over all of the eggs. Chickens are having a good chat. Yeah, they loved it. They loved having a nice chat in there. Chickens have feed. Wood planks. We're out of space for wood planks. We're almost out of a flower. It's about 10,000 liters left. Get some weed in there. than I can chew here, I think. I'm gonna have to probably think about getting a zipline set up soon. There is a real threat of some tipping here. Look at that beautiful canola. Canola is, of course, harvested in um, July. Look at it, though. It comes up nice. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. I've, I've secured it to the best of my abilities with these straps, and honestly, I think it looks pretty good. We can afford a field and then some this is a big load maybe this is our biggest load yet oh 56 almost 57 K actually probably 57 and a bit K yeah it's a decent load Hey Daniel, yeah, we got the uh, factory um, upgrade mod. We just installed it. We bought a, an upgrade to the bakery. Stunning complex. 
All right, chat. Are we getting 57? I think we're getting 57. Because I feel like the, the loam is too good to miss out on, right? We'll have kind of a dead area here around the rock. But that's okay. There's plenty of space for some field, like all the way down here. And it looks like we'll get a couple of trees as well. plow it, see what's there, and then uh, we can maybe prep another field to coincide with what we're doing with the rest of this stuff, right? I know it's the, I know it's the small plow, but I can't afford another one. I think if we stay straight like this, we're 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 bearing 180 degrees, so it's pretty straight, I think. Far so good. got to keep correcting it. It's like, tries to go off to the left. It's looking pretty good, though. that it curves up just like my <laughs> banana that I'm gonna have for lunch
happened? It was going so well. Now it's going all over the damn place. Look at this. Right to the, not to the edge. What am I doing? I'm gonna go 180 from here, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do the soil samples. So you can't do them until you got a field. You can't just do a soil sample on uh, non-plowed field. Do it on the line. But I want to do the whole thing though. It's fine. We can we can plow it out. Uh, maybe it makes sense to do it on the line actually. Trying to keep this straight. I'm heading 90.5, 90.4 to about. I think that's good. And then I want this to be 180 so it matches up with the other side, right? I think that's about right. Okay, I think I'm going straight. I think it's the map that's, like, slightly off. It's like a pixel off, you know? It happens. Maybe it's still in beta. Al's gonna love this one, yeah. No, I think it's the map is, like, just, uh... It's like a pixel off, you know? It happens. Even it happens with even the best map makers, you know. They don't check their pixels and then all of a sudden, oh shit. I'm gonna pixel off. Oh, that is that really is like the hard I can't get up there. <laughs> we might have done this a little too close to the edge. Yeah, the world, the the border of the world is uh, is right there. Yeah.
I think what we'll do is when we're doing this field, we'll just uh, we'll just do the edge down there, and then the AI should have plenty of space to turn on the on the bit that's already done. And depending on the soil type, we might not go all the way down there. I think you're right. I think I'll do samples on the uh, on the line to see what's there. Auto sample? It's like 3K to auto auto sample. I mean, I guess it'll probably work out as much, won't it? Yeah, I could auto sample for this, probably fine. If I can remember how to do it. Pan map, zoom map. Where is the, uh, where's the option? Oh, is it in here? No? Where the fuck is the option again? Oh, is it because I'm in soil types? Oh no, I want it to be in soil types, right? Um, I can't click on this square for some reason. Maybe, maybe you have to do. Uh, no, it isn't really a field yet. You're right. So maybe it's. I have to do the manual samples for this one. Oh, you got to click on the line. No, it doesn't recognize it as a field. Pretty good at driving. Problem. Knocking the plow out of the way. This is going to be our smallest field yet. It's just one line. We just want to have a little. We're, we're just we're gonna plant this little line here. We're gonna use the old cedar because it fits perfectly, and uh, all we're planting down here is um, wheat for the chickens on this line. And then next to it, we're probably just gonna put like a casino and uh, like a car dealership and some other cool stuff like that. More interesting stuff than than farming. Yeah, it is good that we got the Amazon for this one as well. It's 11 miles per hour. 
I'll have this line done in no time. send these off and see what we what we're dealing with here before we plow too much hopefully it's all the good stuff yep yeah, it's all loam <laughs> oh my god that's a big loamy field baby oh you love to see it Yeah, loam's great. Loam's the best. Loam's the best soil type you can you can get. And this whole field will be that. You think the other side needs to be done too? All right. We'll see. I think it I think the 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 way that the soil waves is the like the other way, right? So should be okay. Okay, I'll do it though. I don't want Daniel to yell at me again, so Yeah, what if it's two two strips of loam randomly and then it's all silty clay in the middle? There we go. Last one. It's like 750 bucks that we don't really uh, want to be wasting at this point. But if it if it means that it's the good stuff, then uh, it's fine, right? Oh, look at that. It's not going to be all loam. There's going to be some sandy loam in there as well, it looks like. So maybe, oh yeah, it looks like maybe it, there's like a funny pattern to it. It's not like what I thought it was, just waves going like across. That's okay. Sandy loam, we can, uh, we can handle. Sandy loam is 100% yield, and loam is 125%. So a lot, it looks like a lot of this field will be... Uh, 125%, but there'll be parts of it that'll only be 100. Okay, well. Thanks for plowing. <laughs> Using the small plow. I mean, it'd be good to get it plowed today because then we can, uh, we can prep it and plant it with the other stuff, right? It'll go pretty quick with this tractor. This tractor's it's pretty nice, right? No.
we're still going to want to sample the rest of the field after, but I think it's, I think, I think we can commit to plowing the whole thing. It's going to be tough doing turns at the bottom here, but we'll work around it, it'll be fine. We'll just have to do a lot of it like this way, but then with harvesting it, it'll be, it'll be fine. We'll do it, well, we'll do it, we'll do everything like this way, make a bit of a buffer at the bottom and then it'll be fine. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it width ways. I'm just doing the bottom bit width ways so that we can actually uh, plow out and turn when we come back down. Because the, uh, cause the, we're at the map's edge, so we, I can't go any further than this boundary, see? So when we come down here to turn, you're just bumping into an invisible wall. need a little bit of turning space. There you go. Look, we're already almost done. <laughs> oh man, that's good. <laughs> that's gonna take forever. There's a wider plow. It's not that much wider, funnily enough. They're all, they're all pretty small. Yeah, I got the big cedar. The big cedar is ready to rock and roll. Look, if we're talking plows, okay. The one I'm using is this one, 3.5 meters, 4.9 and 6 meters. So it's, it's 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 not that much. Double the size. I, it's, yeah, I know, but I mean, come on. I feel like the speed that you guys are expecting this to be done, you want something 
that's like, you know, 16 meters or something. Can you actually chain plows together? To make like a like a super plow? That would be amazing. I'll give myself a bit of turning space up here too. You can't have a front and a back plow. There's no way, right? That would look cool, though. Or as my son would say, that would look sick as hell. Anybody watch the finale of uh, Survivor UK? No, not yet. Okay, I won't spoil it. Ah, oh, it's good. It was really good. I hope there's another season. Man, it was really good. I loved it. No, it's Survivor UK. It's just, it's the same. I think it's the same as the American one. They're just on an island in wherever, like, I think it's the Dominican Republic or something. But it's, uh, but all the uh, contestants are um, from the UK. As far as far as I know, the format's pretty much the same. Are they really sunburned? Yeah, a couple of them are like, it's funny, like right, right at the start, first couple of days and they're just like tomatoes. <laughs> like, so used to being these like pale wraith people. I see movement. Oh, there is tea coming! Oh my god, I can't believe it! Just what I need! It's just what I need! You read my mind. I was just about to come in and make some. Well, I'm saying that. I was just thinking how nice it would be. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Oh boy. Hey, Daniel Noshi, thanks so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. This isn't going so bad. All right, look, it's taking shape. It takes a little while. Rome wasn't plowed in a day, so neither should field number 57, you know? It is a large field, you're right. How are we going to make a billion if we don't have, like, the biggest fields? 
Think of all the cool stuff we can plant. Think of all the money this is going to make in the end. It's going to be crazy. Speaking of money, how much money have we made from here? Minus 4,814 bucks for 47. But we've made 23,433 from uh, 46. It's a huge field. Not only is it a huge field, but it's on a really decent soil type as well. So, mostly on, by the looks of it, on the best soil type. Imagine it's only a strip of loam. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's definitely, on the other side, there's definitely some sandy loam, so it is it is possible. We're gonna have lots of stones to pick uh, in this field as well. Some something that we can get out working on pretty soon. I think once we've done uh, a fair bit of the field, we can get out the stone picker. You can get going. I need to um I need to turn some um of that weed into flour actually. Got lots of lots of wheat chilling. Do with making some more flour. I had 200k when I stopped yesterday and I bought that uh, the big cedar ready for uh, well especially if we're seeding this bad boy we're, we're gonna be uh, happy to have it it can fertilize at the same time too but the uh, the cedar was uh, was 200k so that's why we're down 200k No, I really need the big cedar. It takes way too long to seed with the small cedar. It takes so long, in fact, that uh, we almost had to to bump it up to two days a month just to do this, all the seeding in one day with that small cedar. This one will be a little bit better. It's faster and it it's wider as well. And it fertilizes at the same time, so it saves us a job with the sprayer. Yeah, it does look cool. Yeah, it looks huge. I can't wait to uh, see it in action, actually. It's fun getting new toys.
I don't think AI can do um, the plowing. I don't. I don't think uh, AI. You can leave an AI to create fields with the plow. Yeah. See, he needs a field. He's trying to. He's trying to use this uh, machine as well on the front. I think you can do probably do it with course play though. I, I mean I big up course play all the time. I've never even used it and I'm still not even sure how it works. I'm guessing. Are you guys familiar with the concept? I owe myself 100 gift subs? Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it! I think we're I think we're making great progress here. We're like a third done. Maybe like a quarter, but not even a quarter? Oh it's def it's easily a quarter. I don't know, but I think a third might be a stretch, though. One, two, three. Yeah, that's like a quarter. We're a quarter done. Do we have eggs yet? Yeah, we got some eggs. We got, we got one, we have 360 chickens laying eggs like you wouldn't believe. They take a long time to sell. They like sell like at one egg at a time. You guys ever play the, I don't know okay if you play this game and you're watching your tractor plow fields like this do you ever look away from the screen and like your vision is all fucked like your other screen like looks like it's like melting back together or something like it twists I get it all the time when I play this it's like I don't know if it's like the lines or something like, it's weird no, no, I'm not having a stroke. Well, I don't think I am anyway. Maybe I am. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it feels like it's like line focus. Like if I'm looking at it right now and then I look away. Yeah, it's weird. It's like my, my vision has to like correct itself or something. It's really weird. It's kind of trippy, though.
All right, now we're now we're at least a quarter done, right? If not, maybe a generous third. Well, look, I can't afford the other plows, chat. Look, 59k? I can't afford that. I can afford this one, but I'm using this one, right? The eco mat? I'm pretty sure, at least. No, no, I'm not. I'm using the POV 5 XL. <laughs> I'm not even using the one I thought I was using. Hang on a second. We might be getting a new plow. A, a new plow. Okay, let me see. Hang on a second. Plows. Oh, hang on, I gotta finish this line first. Oh, let me check the sails, actually. Maybe there's one in here. No, there's not. There's a little tractor, though. 95 horsepower? So I'm using this one. 3.5. 23k. Wanna get it? Sell this one? It's like an extra meter. Probably not worth it, is it? I feel bad selling this one now. I'd, I'd feel bad. This one's been our our number one ace for so long. It's, it's done. It's created all of these these fields, which in, has in turn generated so much money for us. It doesn't even mind being dirty as hell. I'll I'll put bigger plow on the list okay we'll save up for a bigger plow next now that we've got all the other stuff that we want the next the next big buy will be a bigger plow which honestly will be will take no time at all like one more load probably maybe two two loads I can start picking up the stones in a sec, yeah. He'll catch up with me real quick, though. I wanted to give myself a little bit of a lead. I don't want to be embarrassed, you know? Don't be embarrassed at the size of my plow. No, I won't. <clears throat> I'll try not to be. Have you guys ever watched um, David play uh, Battlegrounds before? Hafu's husband? Or even watched Hafu play Battlegrounds before? He uploads um, YouTube videos of uh, some of his games, and uh, it's insane. Yeah, I, I don't even know uh, like how his mind works so fast. I'm roping every damn turn, struggling to, like, read all the damn... Co well, I guess he just knows the, the units and stuff, which is... I, I'm still trying to figure it all out. you got to see it to believe it. It's insane. He's just, like, every turn, his APM is, is off the charts. I do, like... I buy, like, three things, put them on the board, and then just sit there waiting half the time. Or sometimes, if I have to like sell a bunch of stuff and make changes or whatever, I don't have enough time to do it. And I end up roping and not doing what I wanted to, to do sort of thing. 
every turn, it doesn't even matter what point he's at in the game, it seems. Every turn, he's just like buying something, selling it, buying it, selling it, casting a spell, buying, selling. Like, it's insane. He got a minion. He had a minion that had like 800 health just from, just from doing that. It's wild. I think it's just Dog Dog on, on YouTube. They're good though, they're edited really nicely. Yeah, I can't keep up. Like, I, I, I have some, like a general idea of what he's doing, but he, um, I, I guess, I guess it just comes down to knowing he doesn't need to, like, sit there and read any of the abilities or whatever, right? He just knows what they all do, so he can just quickly buy them, sell them, swap stuff out. I find, like, uh, when I'm playing that game, I, I can kind of get to the top four fairly consistently at, at the level that I'm at, and, and it's fine. But I find I, I hang on to, like, really crappy units for way too long. Like, especially if they've had a couple of buffs, I'm like, oh, I, I don't want to sell that. But it just doesn't do anything. <laughs> Are we actually a third done now? Oh, that looks like half to me. That looks like half to me. Anyway, I don't know if you play Battlegrounds, but... If you want to watch somebody who seems to be really insane at it, I would I would recommend watching Dog. It's I've been, I've been enjoying it though. I've been uh, it's been a nice like you know couple couple of games before bed on my uh, on my tablet game. It's been really good. Really liked it. Not, not for surprisingly, not too much rage. Although the other day I was, uh, I was in the middle of a game, but I, I done all my moves and I was just waiting for it to go, and I had to go upstairs to, uh, to get something. So I was holding my iPad, and my son was just going to bed. So I went in and I was like, all right, well, you know, good night. And um, the match, the match started like while I was saying good night. I could see in the corner of my eye that my opponent had like this monster unit that was just set to kick me out of the game pretty much and I was like ah fuck <laughs> my son was like what so I said pardon my French and now every day he's like hey you're gonna speak some more French today <laughs> all right what a guy eh what a cheeky lad. And then he told on me yesterday too. He was talking he was talking to um to my wife and he's like Do you know that dad swore in my room the other day? And I was like, Really? <laughs> I was like, No. No, I didn't. I didn't do that. I would never do that. And then he said and then he said, yeah, and he said, pardon my French. And then my wife was like, well, I know he definitely swore then, because that's what he always says. I don't even always say that. I think that's like the first time I've ever seen, say, seen, said that. <laughs> I've never said that before. I don't know how that makes me guilty. I thought you were innocent until proven guilty. But that doesn't prove that I'm guilty at all, right? It does not prove it 100%. That would not hold up in a court of law. I mean, I mean, maybe in America it would, but in a, in a country, <laughs> in any other country in the world, I don't think that would hold up in a court of law. Do, 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 do. 
I asked my daughter what uh, what part she liked the best in Home Alone. Because I said my favorite part was when uh, when they when he drops the spider on Marv and uh, Marv screams. And she liked that part, but she said she preferred the part right after where um, Harry, um, where Marv hits Harry with a crowbar, which was, I, I mean, it's funny enough, but I was a little bit worried, actually. Oh, shit, I forgot to change the plow around. Oops. Don't worry, I can see the line. I got the line. I got the line right here. I see it. Sorry, I'm losing focus. I'm thinking of other things now. She's getting ideas. She better not be. I ain't going out like that. When the shit goes down, you better be ready. I don't think anybody's ready for a crowbar, though. Jesus. You getting smacked in the chest with a crowbar? Oh my god, man. I think we're, like, half done, though. We, this looks half done to me, at least. I think uh, after this line, we'll get uh, Owl on the Stones. It's only uh, noon in uh, in May. We still got plenty of time to get this thing uh, prepared for um, for seeding, and we can fertilize it. It'll take no time to roll it as well. This will be a joy to roll, actually. It'll be good. I said that two lines ago. Well, I know, but. Watch it only be two small lines of loam. Oh shit, this guy needs to go fuel up. Shit, this guy needs some repairs too. This tractor has had it. Need a workshop uh, in the yard, I think. And then uh, fill, we got to fill up that uh, that little trailer too. It's it's good to do this now though because um, we're coming up to um, the harvest, right? We want all the tractors working good. Paint. Oh man, I'm not repainting. Oh, we don't have that much money, Jesus. I'm not doing a new paint job on the tractor. As long as what's under the hood works, it's fine. I 
I think I'm going to uh, flatten this area here. I'm going to... Once we buy that land, I'm going to chop down all these trees and flatten this area. And then put more field in, depending on what uh, the soil looks like. I feel like it's a, it'll be a good place for another field, though. Backing up into the machine destroyed the truck by 15%? No, it's the, uh, it's the attachment. It's the stone picker, um, that is missing some, uh, some stuff. is on the move. He's picking up stones. get stuck at the end for sure yeah that's okay we'll fix him we'll fix him when he gets stuck he he will not be able to navigate the end you're right I believe we've got a lot of room down here, actually. It's good. What happened here? I was like, how did we miss, like, one little patch like that? I, I'm using we because I'm... I'm roping you in on this one. Driver was drunk. All right, we'll just do this last uh, last bit here, and then we'll set we'll set Al on his way.
All right, Al. He's a, he's away. He's away. He's just doing Al things now. Try to keep pace here with Al. Don't want him catching up. He's doing it. Any sales? Um, let me check. No, same as uh, when we checked before. Just a small tractor. Some interesting stuff here, but this is this looks nice, but it's just so expensive. We'll uh, we'll we'll save up um, for a uh, better um, harvester, right? Ours is uh, not the best. Maybe that can be our next uh, big purchase. Now that we have uh, three pretty big fields. Falcon picked up these rocks that I just, um, I just shoofed a couple of rocks there. Al's slowly bankrupting us. Okay, we're running really low on... Okay, wood we're good for. We're running pretty low on uh, flour now. It's not like a critical stage yet, but it's getting there. Chickens are fine, and greenhouses need water in a sec too. Al's laundering money? I hope not. Ow. <laughs> Imagine we went bankrupt now. This field is 
A big one, baby. There's another tree. I'll get it in a sec. Oh, there's a couple more there, too. I didn't even see those. You like that up upright shaving of the tree? What's that? Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what are you looking for? Oh, you got it. This is mesmerizing. How fast the other cloud? This one's seven miles per hour. What's the other one? The the next one up is this one, right? That's only seven miles per hour as well. Are they all seven miles per hour? Hey, what's up, Randy? My favorite part of the day, yeah, Randy Calrees has arrived. How was the Packers game, Randy? Randy went to see the Green Bay Packers yesterday. Or am I dreaming that? Randy, did you go see the Green Bay Packers play yesterday? It was bad they lost. Oh, no. What happens when the Green Bay Packers lose? Is there a big hoedown? I don't know. I don't know what a hoedown is. It's like a like a western, like a wild west party. The entire city of Green Bay burns down. What any time they lose? <laughs> well, looks like we're gonna have to build it up again. <laughs> every every weekend, the whole thing burns down. Subsoilers are faster and wider than the cloud, but can't make fields. Yeah, I know. This is the problem. The only thing that can actually make a field, which is what we're doing right now, is a plow. I know I'm not using 
the greatest plow, but I just don't have money. But we will buy a plow next so that our future plowing endeavors are, uh, are less laborious. Green Bay is rebuilding itself and it starts in an hour? Do you think there'll be like a time lapse on YouTube? I hope so. I could go for Green the city of Green Bay rebuilds itself in ten minutes. I would watch it. You're gonna upload one through GoPro later? Okay, Randy. I look forward to that. Well, the good news is this field will be ready and also um, just in time too. We'll be able to plant uh, something this month. I'm thinking maybe we go for some uh, sorghum. We're going to plant some sorghum in here when she's all ready to go. We'll have to buy some uh, fertilizer. i got a couple of jobs to do right when the plowing's done, and then we'll get planting using the new planter. If the, Depending on the yield uh, for the sorghum, we might just sell it. We might just actually sell the whole harvest. We can hang on to it for a bit though, we don't have to sell it like as soon as we harvest it. If we plant that in May, it'll be ready to harvest in August, which is when we're harvesting everything else as well. It's a nice quick turnaround for the sorghum. Roy, three million? You haven't missed much. <clears throat> Two years ago, I was probably just doing this, and look, look where I am now. Still doing this. I actually don't think anything has changed in the past two years. I have less hair. I have a uh, a bigger gut. I still play really boring games. I'm still an idiot. I'm, not much has changed, honestly. Oh yeah, we had another baby. Oh yeah, she's two. So that's about right. Yeah, we, we had another baby. I guess, I, well I guess something has changed. Sorry, Roy. I still got love for the streets, yeah, it's true. I bought two new Lambos? Per year, yeah. That's what I, that's what I invest my cold hard cash into. Sports cars! No, it's true, I don't pee as hard as I used to pee. I had a prostate scare, Roy, and I don't pee as... 
I'd say it's not like Niagara Falls anymore down there. It's more like... Like a babbling brook now. on this field, can you believe it? It has taken some time, I apologize, but... Man, it's so satisfying at the same time getting some of these jobs done, isn't it? Because you just know they got to be done. And someone's got to do them. And that someone's got to be me. Nobody else can do them. And sometimes Al can do them as well, but... For the most part, me. Actually, I'm going to leave the, uh, the branches on so that I can see them when I need to pick them up. Because otherwise, I will not see them. Like, uh, like right now, I'm, I'm, I'm missing one out here. It's confusing with the bushes, you know? up to me. Hip hip hooray for Christmas vacation. Boodaloo boop ba doo boo boo. Do 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 I gotta watch that this year. I haven't watched it yet. You watched it this weekend? Oh man, it's so good. It on it's the best part of Christmas. I think there's no more trees, so that's at least something. Muppets Christmas Carol? Muppets Family Christmas is a pretty good one, too. When they go to the house and Fraggle Rock is underneath the house and there's the icy patch. But Muppets Christmas Carol is pretty good, too.
Sorry, I didn't line it up nicely there. I'll do better. This shift. This field is glorious. Look at the frickin' size of it. Jeez. We gotta, we gotta lime this uh, field too. We'll probably be planting at night. If only our plow I don't think any of the plows can match the scale of this beast. It's huge. I think this would have been a big job for any of the plows in, uh, in vanilla. Maybe there's some bigger modded plows. Yeah, we got a huge cedar. I don't think it's all loam, no. I think some of it is sandy loam. I haven't done the uh, the rest of the uh, the readings. I'll do them once I'm done plowing. And then I think we got to take a look at production. Oh shit, yeah, that's bad. Oh, that's pretty bad too. You must first fill the tool. Some of this stuff prepped. Free up some output space. not good to plow in the rain actually it's really good to plow in the rain makes the uh makes the 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 dirt um no i'm just joking i don't know if it is or not uh you can automate this stuff by just auto selling it but you lose a bit of money Auto selling it. So for now, we're just doing it.
He's hot on our he's hot on our tails. No, he hasn't quite caught up yet. He's still got He's still got like two lines to do before he catches up to me and by then I'll I'll almost be done. It'll be close though. There's easily two lines between me and him right now. I think we gotta do this side because this is the side that he's coming in on, right? We wanna like skip, not at this crucial point. We gotta, we gotta make sure that his work is continuous. I don't want him to stop. Still plan. Look, it's almost done though. What a field, too. Jeez, it's huge. And more or less pretty straight. It's not 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 that messy of a of a field in terms of the outline of it. Closing in. I think we have one more line after this, right? Looks like it. And then it's uh, and then it's plowed. No, I don't have any horses. You can pog if you want, yeah. You can, well, or maybe do a yeehaw if you want. We can do a hoedown at the end. No, don't yeehaw yet. It's not done. Save your yeehaws. We got one more line to do, and then it's yeehaw time. Don't stop yeehawing. It's too early. Don't do a premature yeehaw. that you couldn't hold it in come on oh it stopped raining just in time for the final the final uh, push the final yeehaw
We did it. Al was not able to catch up. Oh. Look, he's had to stop. He's got a full tank of rocks. Don't worry, Al. I'll sort you out. Yes, now is the time for a huge yeehaw. Well done, chat. Good. You've done it. Okay, let me get uh, Al sorted out here first. And then I'll, uh, I'll do the rest of the survey. 2,000 liters of rocks in here. Fudge. We've had a wipeout. Field 47. I think it's the weight of the the stones inside this thing as well. It's not helping. All these trees have grown, my god. There's over a hundred of them in there. All hand plant. Oh, that reminds me, we need to get the tree planter, don't we? Be a good one. Uh, it looks like he got up to this point. Try to get him lined up exactly where he was. Off you go. Do you know what? I'm not doing this whole thing. I'm just going to pay the money. It's like three grand, right? It's going to work out to about three grand with all the samples anyway. No, oh, I still can't do it. I think something needs to be harvested on it before you can do it. Alright, I guess I'm uh, taking samples then. It's going to take forever.
I think if we do it like this, we get it all in. It doesn't really matter. You just want to know roughly, right? But Hey, what's up, Dowie? My weekend was good, Dowie. Thanks so much for asking. We just plowed this whole field, Dowie, with the old plow. It took like three hours. Yeah, it was fun, yeah. Chat were yeehawing uh, pre prematurely the whole time. It is an impressive field, and I think it's there's some really nice soil under here, too. Which is even better. I kind of hate that this is round. Just square. You took soil samples IRL and it doesn't have a circle? What is it used in real life then? If not a circle. It's square. Yeah, it's gonna be pricey. We've got 13 samples already. Sending them in to the lab. We can go put this tool away now. Two thousand two hundred and fifty bucks. It's actually still cheaper than doing the whole thing. Nice. Look at all the loam. Oh, that's great. There's so much loam in that field. There's only a little tiny bit of sandy loam. Perfect. That's a lot of, I uh, got a whole lot of loam. Just a bit of sandy loam. All right, let's put this thing here. I think we need another shed for harvesting stuff. Uh, 
Um, I think this plow is going to be sold soon, so I'm just going to chuck it here for now. Alright, another job that needs to be done is, of course, uh, we need some flour. I'm going to take some wheat over. liters in for now. Whoops. We actually don't have the production set up for wheat yet. It's only set up for oat, so we'll, we'll set up the wheat, um, the wheat, wheat to flour. Wheat flour. We want to activate. Oat flour is not being made. We're almost out of flour. And then this flour will be distributed. All of this flour gets distributed. Perfect. Great. That's another job done. chop some more wood soon. We might need to buy some... Um... Oh, you know what? I think we need some water for the uh, lime place as well, right? He's almost done. done. Yeah, he's done. Nice. Good job, Al. Yeah, he's done it. He's done a great job. You need to get some roads up here too, right? Follow these fields around a little. He's doing like a full wipe out here.
perfect. Um, oh yeah, we want the, uh, the lime spreader, right? to buy some more. Lime? Mm, lime? We have no stones. There's plenty of water in here. There's not that much lime in here from that, but we'll fill up anyway, and then we might just need to buy some more stones. Be surprised actually how sorry chickens at how far this can go on uh, on loam right it's not as uh, it's not as hungry we'll need to buy some fertilizer for the uh, for the cedar as well and then we're gonna plant some sorghum on this field while well, we still can we'll be har harvesting this in August I think is it September I didn't buy the uh, upgraded spread for this yet. We're going to need a lot more lime. <laughs> This field is just too big. <laughs> it's it's huge. Let's go buy some stones. I still think it's cheaper to buy the stones than it is to buy the lime, right? I don't even think you can sell lime itself. Oh, you can. They sell for 562, whereas rocks they sell for 500. Oh, there's not much in it, honestly. Just go buy lime. Farm shop sells it for 500, but actually the the shop itself you can buy uh, big bags of it of lime for 350. And there's 2,000 liters in these, so it's actually just cheaper to buy the bags, right? 
We'll have, um, we'll have some stone to add, um, to it after, but. Yeah, I used up all the stone. All the stone that I, uh, I had, I used. Have you reached the point of needing a warehouse yet? I've been playing this myself and updated the central warehouse mod to take all the different pallets from the platinum and premium expansion. Oh, is that, are you, did, have you made the warehouse mod? I haven't gotten to that point yet. I'm looking forward to using it though. Do I need to update? I'm looking forward to doing some... Oh, you just made a local edit? Oh, why? Has it not been updated for the premium and... Um, expansion and stuff? I'll need to take a look. But no, I'm not at that point yet. It's it's like half a million just to get the uh, the main warehouse. Mushrooms, <laughs> you don't have to edit them. I mean, if you want to edit them, and you can. I don't think I'm going to... We're going to try to... Um, we're going to try to sack off the mushrooms and flowers at some point. I know the damage is already done, but... Uh, my, my parents could not loan me 500k. No. Oh, I can just go this way. I'm addicted to the easy money. Oh, I love the easy money. I do love it. gonna get to use the big cedar on this though should go nice and fast supposed to stay the course why didn't you just stay the course Run rune. I know we gotta restart now. I was not able to perfectly apply the lime. 
<coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, I know you can hide the uh, UI on the left. I still need to reference it, though. I always forget the um, the different things for the different things, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Things for the things? The big things? Uh, we're going to plant some sorghum in this field because... Um, it's the uh, right time of year to do it. And then we'll be able to harvest it in a couple of months along with the um, canola. Yeah, we could keep it to feed the chickens. Um, or just sell it. I don't know. I need a bigger lime spreader for future. So what are we getting? A bigger plow, a bigger lime spreader. Um, what else? Those are the two things we want for now and then save up for a bigger harvester. Maybe more land. Oh yeah, we want to get a furniture uh, factory upgrade as well, right? Which is, uh, it's like 79K or something. I think the furniture factory upgrade could be really good. Make some more furniture money. Um, have no fear. I've got just the thing for you. Cook, serve. Delicious. more lime.
I gotta go back to this shop. Fill up again on the rest of that line. I might even need to buy some more too. Still a fair bit left to do. And then we'll need more lime uh, after the harvest as we uh, get the fields prepared for the uh, for whatever we're going to grow next. Maybe we go um, wheat, wheat, or more canola, or maybe a mix of both. Field. <laughs> oh my god, it's huge. Fuck, we got a seed. It's six o'clock already. We're going to miss the window. There's still so much to do. down the time you're right now nah, I don't need more days I, I'm happy with one one day for a month one day is normally enough it's it's just the plowing took so long because it's such an enormous field normally we wouldn't you know it would just be the harvest or preparing fields and we normally have more than enough time, right? No, I can't upgrade the spreader. It's like 18 grand to upgrade it. When I'm spreading lime on these fields, I'm always thinking about that um, the dude in the upstairs bathroom on the bank map of uh, Hitman. You know, he does the rounds and he goes back into the stall privately and he's, he's snorting. <laughs> <coughs> That's the one. Are you guys ready for um, another Yeehaw? It's coming up. 
<coughs> Big yeet high inbound. Never been less ready for a yeehaw. Sometimes they just catch you by surprise. Wales, thanks so much for the hundred bits. I appreciate it. Thanks. Whoa. All right. So this should be pH'd. It is. Okay, good. So we just got to seed and fertilize, which we'll do at the same time. <laughs> Should have enough money for fertilizer. Yeehaw. <laughs> Dowie, thank you so <laughs> thanks so much, Dowie, for the bits. Did you look at you 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 donated bits and Twitch has helped. Twitch donated some right after you. Thank you, Dowie. Big bags of solid fertilizer. We're gonna buy four of these to start with. Ready for this? Oh my god, I got more tea. I can't believe it. Look at this bad boy. I know it is it's staggering, isn't it? We need to uh, let's get two more bags of seeds as well. All right, okay. What? Here? Oh, thank you. Oh, well. Thank you. Thanks very much. What's that? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I gotta get to the other side here. I gotta fill up. Oh, maybe I can get it from um, here. If I like reverse onto it. I should probably move this stuff to the farm, but I'm just being lazy. We gotta get the seeding done as well. Okay. 
Oh, just gotta. Oh, God. Uh, it's just, it's because we have, like, so. Oh, God. It's because we have so little money. Oh, he's gotta make a miracle happen. Oh, God, okay. That's just pretty realistic. I think he honestly, he could have probably done just that, right? Eight hundred and fifty kilograms. Okay, but it's eight hundred and fifty kilograms. I know for mere mortals, it would be impossible <laughs> to bring the line with me. Um, but you gotta, you gotta remember that our man here is is desperate. He is down to the. He's got four thousand four hundred ninety nine bucks in his pocket, and that's not enough. That's not even enough to keep the heat on in this place. So he's desperate. So he he found some extra strength, you know. Mother of God. Look at this. Would you look at this thing? Would you look at this mother of God? Okay, I'm lowering it. Um, and I am, uh, I'm turning it on. Oh my God. This thing is insane. And it's fertilizing at the same time. It's so good. What a what an upgrade. Man, we needed this, eh? it has enough I have to uh, I gotta make sure that I put myself in the right spot here right I think it's like probably around here some sorghum. Seed and fertilizer levels seem pretty good for now. Might have enough to do the whole field at this rate. Man, we picked up this cedar just in time, honestly. It would have been insane doing this with the uh, with the small one, eh? There's no way. And Big Red's got just enough uh, horsepowers to do it as well, to do the job. Perfect. Oh 
shit, there's this tree in the way. Chuck it in there for now. Oh, you know what? I needed to do the uh, the other side, actually. I could probably let Al finish this job, but I need to um, I need to do a widthways at the top and the uh, the bottom first before he can carry on, because otherwise he's not going to be able to do it. So use more resources on the uh, on the on the sandy loam, which is the bit that we're at right now. I love the new cedar. I'm trying not to waste my precious seed. Point taken. I will not waste my seed. After this, I think Al can uh, just do the rest. It's a pretty, pretty quick job for for Al to finish.
Okay, good job, Al. I think we're gonna park this thing just over here for now. Get it ready for the main event, which is coming soon, to a theater near you. We gotta roll that field when, uh, when the seating's done as well, but that won't take too long either. Speed up time a little bit more again now. Not too much though. Okay, so this is all full. Planks. We still got quite a bit of wood. We're out of space as well. There's still quite a bit of wheat left in here making flour for the bread. Good. Take, uh, we'll sell a load so that we can get a little bit of money. I guess because we're pretty low now, aren't we? You think Al's confused? I can see, look at Al in the distance. It's not rendered the vehicle, but oh, there it is. He's appeared in the haze. It is stealth tech, you're right. I didn't want to admit it at first, but... <laughs> Where'd my furniture go? Hey, where the hell has my furniture gone? Like a, a hadron collider in there making the bread? What the hell? small little load.
chef. Just a just a, a small 25k load. this small little one keep us going keep us in the green That building buys everything. That's the that's the big sell point for the map. Yeah, we'll be able to to turn the heat on tonight for sure. Ah, oh, just in time. Look at that. Folder up. We'll be using this a lot in the summer. Well, I mean it's technically summer now, but after after this canola is harvested, we're gonna be planting again. And in that field too, we'll be planting. We'll have to lime it up too. It's good. We use 30% of our fertilizer on that field. And uh 21% of our um, seed. It's good to know these things about your fields. No. Is this the biggest roller? It can't be right. There's got to be a bigger one than this. Maybe this is the biggest one. I'll check in a sec once we started rolling. Yeah, this is, it's a roller for ants, yeah. Oh no, there's this huge one here. 350. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Another thing that we have to add to the list to buy. This is just the little baby one. It's a big field. It's going to take some time to roll it. We might have to weed it tomorrow as well. June. And then I think our canola harvest starts in July. 
Canola, 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 canola. Yeah, July. right so that we have some more space to turn at the end What's winter like in game? Uh, it's it's fine, it's snowy. There's not really we're playing with seasonal stuff, so it's not uh, there's not really much to do in the winter except for load up uh, production stuff and sell it. The the the, the winter months we usually just kind of um, fast forward through, sell stuff and then. Um, wait until uh, fields need prepping for planting and then usually the summer we don't really skip that much time because there's always a lot to do harvesting and well the last one we did was, was all uh, wheat so there's tons of uh, straw to bale up and we had more fields too but actually this year we'll have uh, we got this one now too right it's a big one kind of replace the other one that we lost because it's on shitty soil. I think the next thing that we're going to get is, uh, well, we're, we'll get a plow next, a big plow. And then we will get a um, upgrade for the uh, for furniture. We'll need one. And winter, you lock everything up and you go to Florida. That's exactly what we do. We just make sure that all of the production buildings have enough stuff to keep churning out the goods over the winter, and then off we go. in the winter? What, with the, without seasonal stuff on? I think you can disable the, the snow and stuff. Can't you? Can you? Can't you set the temperature range for the... Or is it map specific, the temperature range?
songs sound like uh, songs that were used for like uh, MF Doom samples like the past three songs at least Time, which uh, is unfortunate because uh, I want to get this job done before I go for lunch. I might still be able to do it. If I slow time right down, it'll be fine, right? Listen to this. I, we got so much space to turn here now because I did the um, the widthways a bunch of them at the end. <coughs> I don't even lift. I just like making nice little rounded patterns in the in the sh 
shit. I missed a little. Sorry. I got it. Full roll. Full roll. I took the turn a little bit wide. I needed to take it much tighter. Gotta make sure that we stay on target at all times. <clears throat> when was the last time I played Dota? Um, probably like the last time I, around the last time I streamed it, I think. I played a lot of Bristleback last time I played, it was fun. I find Bristleback such a pain in the ass to deal with when he gets big. Especially if he starts running away in levels like above uh, your team. Oh yeah, Bounty Hunter. That was really fun too. That was really fun. The next big purchase machinery wise, there'll be a bigger plow. Finally. We'll get a bigger plow. And then after that, I think we might want to invest in uh, some sort of logging trailer with the arm so that we can uh, not um, haul logs with the winch anymore. We can just make up big, some nice, nice big loads. Um, I mean, we'll probably get the Scorpion King at some point too, but that's not for a little while. But there's a there's a lot of uh, a lot of silty clay where we can plant tons of trees, upgrade our furniture factories and everything else to level ten, and just spew out products and make tons of money. sell this sorghum. I think we'll just sell it all. There's gonna be tons of it. Fuck. Be a, be a big big harvest. Using the um, the no man's land greenhouses. I've only got one flower and one mushroom greenhouse, though. We could have added more and probably made more money, but even when we 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 had the first ones, we were pretty broke and started making money from it. But kind of realized how um, how crazy they are. <laughs> they're they're really good. We we could have expanded them, but. I think it's better that we didn't.
think I got like one more line to do here, maybe? Yeah, maybe one or two. Might be able to do it in one? Alright, one more line and then uh, and then it's lunchtime. To here we're growing sorghum on this field. Just because uh, we don't, we just created the field and it it, it just so happened that uh, we were in time to to plant sorghum. So we planted it. And we'll harvest it along with the uh, the canola, and then I don't know what we're gonna put in this field next. We might just put like a ton of wheat in here, and then just have like uh, those other fields for um, canola, because I think I think they they line up right the planting times for them. I think. So planting wheat, barley, yeah, canola we we'll plant in August, and then if we could plant uh, on this field, we could plant uh, well wheat or barley, probably wheat I guess, since we're gonna use it primarily for flour, but uh, we'll also feed some of it to the chickens. You guys are yeehawing already? Nice. <coughs> Right, I leave you um, here for a minute then. I'll be right back. You guys could admire this huge field, or you can look at uh, all this industry over here. It's up to you. I don't. I don't mind. Here, look. I'll just leave it like this. I'll be right back, chat. See you in a sec. Oh man, I forgot to slow the time down. Look, it's almost June. I can't believe it. Head back. Guess what? No tea. It's a no tea. I had two cups of tea before. It's too much tea. People guessing yes are in shambles over this one. I am really having some trouble here. More trouble than I would normally have. Usually I, Jesus. All right, there we go. 
Oh, it's nice having some lights in this place. Jeez. Really good. Do 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 Yeah, look, see the mushrooms they they get less of the shared water it seems. I, I don't I don't get it. It's weird. Alright, good. This is all looking fine. Pretty soon we'll have some canola to add to the mix there as well. I had a hot, well, it wasn't like a hot lunch like soup or whatever, but I had, I had some toasted pittas and I had some, um, some nice cheese. Mmm. So like, it was hot, but not like in the traditional sense, you know? Like, normally if I say hot lunch, I mean like it's a soup or a calzone or maybe like, uh, you know, a, a pasta with some gravy. A pa pasta? Pasta with some, some, with some gravy? <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll see if we need to do any weeding of the new field in June. It's possible that we might need to. No, I've never had a calzone for lunch. I was just trying to think of things that are hot. What about like a pasty maybe? Like a hot pasty? I think this is a bit of a banger too, honestly. You gotta put some gravy on the cannolis. You gotta boil the cannolis and put the gravy on the cannolis after the canno cannolis are ready. Cannolis a dessert? I don't know. Gotta get the cannolis. I'm gonna be harvesting some cannolis soon. Soon. Hey, I think we can probably do a, a cycle. Maybe. Actually, let's uh, advance time a little bit. Get into uh, May, uh, June, sorry, and see what's what. And then we can. Uh, Weed? Okay, there's no weed. This is good. It's all set to go. <clears throat> no stones. No weed. Oh, look at this. Look at all this canola. Calzoni and his BFF to Toby Laroni. To Toby Laroni. Okay, we got 123% expected yield on this bad boy. With a perfect pH value and perfect nitrogen as well. Really good. Just. Oh, shit. Let's put some like 
tracks through here so that it looks like you know this is uh this is like a, a way to access these fields so you don't want to put concrete in between though right you just want like make it look like it's uh the beaten path we can we could dot some wet mud in here too What about some, get some water puddles in here? Yeah. That looks good, that looks great. What about like just a bit of, um, this is dry grass, but what about like some forest ground or is dry grass fine? <coughs> I think it's fine. There, look, now it looks, now it's looking good. All right, we can speed up time now. Just fast forward through most of June. Get ready to harvest um, the canola in July, July. rising at four o'clock in the morning yes please check the sales is this an Amazon hey look it's my it's my old one I just sold this one. Oh no, I didn't. This is different. This is a fertilizer spreader. Speed running June. We're just um, trying to get some money in so we can buy um, something else that we need. Probably a plow next, right? If we want to buy some more fields in the winter and get them ready, we'll want to do it faster than ever. Oh, this rain. Summer shower. Get some more beehives too. I guess we are kind of speed running June. There's just not really anything to do right now. I, mean, I just want, I just want to sell a big load. Honey production was really good this month. Nah, there's nothing good on sale. I just checked. Nothing that nothing that we're after anyway.
Am I going to get cows? Yeah, maybe eventually. I'm not, not really in a rush to get them right now. They're a bit of a faff, you know? Eventually, though, we'll get them. Can start making some some cheese. Some real cheese. shot. That went flying. Two furnitures. Yeah, olives and grapes I would like to do. Yeah, apparently they're really expensive to do though, so it might be something we do later when we have a bit more money. I feel like we're 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 close to just uh, having like a really nice setup for planting and harvesting, like the 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 usual suspect sort of stuff. Once we've made some money, we'll be able to try some different stuff. Don't tip the trailer over again. I'll try not to. Four breads. Oh my god, man. Yeah, I think the bakery is cooking the uh, bread with the jet engine. It, that's exactly what it sounds like. There's something going on in there. No. Oh. <laughs> that was close. Once the trailer gains a little bit of momentum, it's... good like 45 46k how long would it take to sell full load with just eggs oh my god I think we'd have to leave the truck there selling. Just crack on with some other stuff.
Yo, each egg sells one one at a time, more or less. Yeah, that seems to be the the way that it does it. Greenhouses are very thirsty. You refill them all the damn time. Chickens? They're fine for now, I think. Wheat flour? There's only a little bit left. Oh my god, man. I think uh, I think the oat flour is, was so good. We need to upgrade this furniture furniture from planks. We got too many planks now, right? 66k. I did say I'd buy a plow though. What's on sale? Oh. There's a forestry mulcher. There's a conveyor belt and another class. Oh, this one, this has been great. 6,549 bucks. It can hold so much with the extender, it's crazy. This one's not bigger, no, this is the exact same one. The Karat 140 TD is the one that we have right now. We've got the extender on as well. I don't want to sell it. Wait. Where's this? Oh, this is what I'm using right now. With the with the sides down, right? For bales. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got the... Um, you can put, like... See this white bit on top of the trailer? It increases the capacity big time. See? Put all that space in there. Incredible. I could sell mine for 9k and then buy the one on sale and and pocket the 4k. Yeah, I know, but I'm attached to mine though. I I did the paint job on it and everything. It's quite a bit of space. So you could get a you could get a mattress in there. Probably like a bedside table. Um, you get a tarp over top of it. Yeah, that's it. We need a plow. 75k for this one. Needs 360 horsepower, which I think we can do. It's a, it's got a six meter spread, which is way bigger than the one we're using right now. We're using the POV five XL, which has which has a two point five meter spread. So we'll be plowing like crazy with this thing. Well, it's a bit close to the bone though. I need to um, probably buy it tomorrow after we sell some more stuff, right? I don't want to be left with a grand, especially with harvest tomorrow I, I need to be able to hire um, Al to help out oh yeah I could sell my current plow that's a good point then I'd probably have enough I do have to I do have to have some cash to, to pay big Al though He'll be, he'll be mighty annoyed. Are you guys gonna miss this guy? You're not gonna miss him? He's been so good. He's done such a good job.
I know, I'll just use the terrain editor for outlines and stuff. I, I can use the big plow. I can probably use the big plow just to get the the sides, and then for the corners and stuff, I'll just use the terrain editor. We need that. We need the big one, and we don't really want to use the small one anymore, right? We're done. Give it a proper send off. Little plow, little plow. You are so great. Little plow, little plow. How did you become so great? No, I'm not washing it before I sell it. They, the, the, the new owner can give it a wash. I want them to know that it was previously loved so much. Filthy love. thousand eight hundred and ninety seven bucks for this for the agromaz POV 5 XL nice oh look she's gone she's gone home for the day again of it. Yeah, it's big and red. It matches the uh, it matches the tractor. said we were gonna get it now we got it so there we go it's done now we can plow another big field when the time is right very quickly it's gonna be great all right let's advance time and then we can um, do the harvest tomorrow morning let's advance time until tomorrow morning we'll load up we might even do a sell before we start the harvest in the morning. We're harvesting canola. Oh, that reminds me, actually. Ah, it's got enough fuel, I think. It's fine. We're going to harvest all this canola, and then the following day, we're going to be harvesting all the sorghum. We'll be able to put all the canola into the mill to make some canola oil. then sell.
I don't have the um, the auto load mod, so I don't think it'll auto load the trailer. stuff up. I think it's fine. All right, we're ready to harvest the canola. Yeah, I might as well just auto sell it at that point yet. Auto loading. I agree. This is going to be a lot of canola. There's no straw to be had from canola. Whoops. Wrong button. Is the steering wheel arriving? I didn't order one. I don't need no stinking steering wheel. I've mastered the keyboard controls now. Nice. Look at that. This is a farm now. Jeez. Look at this. Look at the yield. The outline for the yield. It's like green, dark green. 125%, baby.
big old load of canola here. When's Al gonna take over? I was gonna do just um, a little bit, but he can probably take over now, actually. I'll get the trailer. Yeah, we'll need a bigger trailer at some point, but for now, I think it's it's fine. all of it. Alright, let's drop this off here. We know that we're making oil with it. That should be enough to get us started with production. say we have 151,769 liters of canola in here. That's not right, is it? Yeah, that's a lot. There's no way. I only put like 7,000 in there. Oh, it's storage space for remaining. I see. bigger harvester, especially for that field. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's, it's never gonna finish. I wonder how much total sorghum will um, we'll harvest from it.
<laughs> Excuse my French. Yeah, sorry about that. Pardon my French. some of the profits from the oil and whatnot to um, to hopefully um, get a, a bigger harvester. Maybe uh, that can be the big thing that we save up for. Find a good one on sale, save up for it before next year's uh, harvest. Could be fun. A big old harvester. Yeah. Tractors are. What is this? Oh, that's so cool. It's a little tractor with a slurry tank built into it. I've never seen that before. Big harvesters? They're expensive. Uh, let's see. Harvesters. If we want to get a big boy one, it's like half a million. We want the Lexian 8,900, 780 horsepower. Yeah, and then we need the header too, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> the music is, is, it's popping off. could be upgraded with the current harvester. We'd have to look into it. You've been watching my Death Stranding playthrough? Man, I really enjoyed that game. What a time. Just a couple of spots, in fact. <laughs> Texting and harvesting, I think so. Jesus. Is there, there's a little, um, there's a building that you can build that 
improves the uh, the GPS stuff, right? I, c I can't watch Clarkson's farm. I hate Jeremy Clarkson. The man grates on me so hard. I just, I can't even, as much as I would like to watch it and I probably would enjoy the format, I, I can't stand the man. No, I know you don't need to like him, but I really just don't want to watch anything with him in it. Jeremy Clarkson harvest a whole bunch of canola on his farm? The la and the in just the last episode, that's what he did? Holy crap. We're so in sync. Have you ever seen me and Jeremy Clarkson in the same room together? Alright, wheat flour has been produced. Flour levels in the bakery are still not too bad. We need to feed the chickens a bit too, right? Oh, there's still some sorghum left though. We just feed them that. Dump another 20 liters into the uh, into the mill. chickens too while I think of it. Mm, there's not much left. This has lasted, just that small amount of sorghum has lasted like all year for the chickens. So we'll make sure that we keep some wheat back, some wheat back for them as well.
We got another uh, another field to do. So what? I guess it'll tell us the yield once we've uh, fully harvested this, right? How much it's worth as well. Not insane yields, but it's it'll be enough to make uh, a little bit of oil money, right? So we're harvesting sorghum in August, and then we can either we can turn these around and plant canola again directly next August. And once the har the sorghum is harvested, actually sorghum we're harvesting in September, right? So then we'd have to either plant wheat or barley in the big field after that. We can plant cotton in February and March for an October-November harvest. <laughs> Poplar grass and oilseed radish. I don't know what to use oilseed radish for. We don't have any equipment to do root stuff yet. Yet. A little soon though. That didn't even completely fill up the chickens. I This is busted, because there's no way that that's... It's not showing... Is that the, the total capacity of the building? Because it doesn't work like that for any of the other ones. Look, wheat flour, I got 20,000 which is what I put in, but for canola oil, let's say there's 164,668, but the number is not changing. Oh, I don't get it. Two canolas for one oil.
fast is this thing going? Six? Five miles an hour? Somewhere between five and six? Maybe just fully six? Oh, well, in comparison, this expensive one can go 24 miles an hour. <laughs> That's insane. It's going to be so fast. Oh, is it limited by the header speed? Is that so? This thing should be able to go 12 miles an hour, but I don't know what other headers I can put on this. This is the one that we got here, right? Combinations. So we can use this thing, which has a nine mile per hour. Oh, no, that's just for sunflowers, though. It looks like we can't use anything else except for the top liner 4090 header, which is the one I've got right now. Next one up is 18 miles an hour. But with a six mile an hour header, are all the headers six miles an hour? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, they are. We're not harvesting any faster than this ever, it looks like. We just want a wider header, I guess, right? some of these trees out of the way. All right, let's get Al over into the other field. Can make a start. It's gonna take like three years for him to even get over here. Look, so fucking slow. full yield of that field? I don't know. I think it was like maybe 20,000 liters or so. Maybe a bit more.
Yes. Let's take a load over to sell. There's a bit of honey. Whoops. Sell some eggs. flat pack furniture. Oh, yes. And my bread. Nice. You get some money back in the uh, in the bank. What's up, Bruce? She gets some sheep. Get some, get some sheep, and get a. What's the what's the process for sheep? Sheep, give them grass. Get the wool and give it to a spinnery, which makes what textiles, and then textiles auto distribute them to the clothes factory. wagon we could uh we could forge wagon or we could just um bail since we've got the baler and we got the bail loader as well 
we can we can bale up uh, grass and just feed them bales, right? We put bales right right in front of their uh, their consumption point. And then we can store the grass bales in the um, in the in the warehouse when we have it. Yeah, no, I wasn't gonna run a tether over. I just just, just grass bales, right? Oh. No, the honks are not great on this tractor, honestly. Um, if you're growing grass, is it worth um, having a, a field and then seeding it with grass and then it'll just keep growing and growing and growing? We don't really need to do much to it. And you get better yield that way? up with the with the backing up the whole length of the uh, field Al's been huffing the canola dust. <laughs> Ow. Ow, you son of a bitch. Al wants a bigger and better harvester? Well, Al's gonna have to wait. I only got 40 grand. See how much these things cost? They're not cheap. They're not cheap, I can tell you that. For free. No, I don't think there's one on sale currently, but... We'll keep an eye out for um, for some sales. 
Imagine getting one of the big boys for like 50% off. Be sweet. I only have 40 grand because I, I bought stuff. I, everything you buy costs money. Lots of money. I, we built all these factories and stuff. It's expensive. Any, any money I make, I just uh, put it back into making more money. Which hasn't gone up that much honestly but it is going up we're on the right path it just takes a little while to spin up i know it's, a, it's a, what the hell that's not how it works in the real world everything's free in the real world i don't understand i get paid my paycheck and i just added on to last month's paycheck it just keep making tons of money. I, I never have to spend anything. There's nothing, uh, there's no byproduct from uh, this canola. There's no straw or, well, straw, there's no straw. But yeah, I would I would normally bail stuff if it had a thing, but this one doesn't. It's the, it's the crop type. It's wheat, barley, and oats all uh, produce straw behind them. I think we're gonna plant some wheat in the big field this year. So next year we'll have a whole bunch of straw bales to sell. I gotta get rid of this angle, god, it's so annoying. I mean, it's not annoying, like, uh... It's just annoying to harvest, like, on an angle. I should have just gotten rid of it, chopped it off earlier. I can square it off, and then I can let Al do the rest. Um, the most expensive, well, the, the problem, the thing with crops is that there's more money to be made putting the, putting the harvest back into production. So it depends what production you're focusing on for crops, but a lot of the productions need a lot of different stuff, right? So, uh, I mean, for us, we've got some wood production stuff. We got oil, but we've, we're also making money selling eggs which we need grain for, so it it switches up the requirements all the time. I don't think you would just plant like one crop, harvest it and, and sell it if you have uh, buildings to like put it into to produce stuff, right? Because yeah, I think there's more money to be made in the long run off production. So like, for example, this year the, with this canola, we'll probably have 
the harvest will probably keep the factory running for most of the year. And then next year we'll want to harvest some, some more to top it up again. But then on another field, we'll probably plant some wheat because we need to feed chickens, but also we need to produce flour. And again, the, those things will be fine for the year, but then we'll need another harvest next year to top them up. Sort of thing. We could do silage, but I think it's I think it'd be hard to do solo. There's there's lots of like annoying jobs. It's silage is fine multiplayer because it's a, it you need a lot of people to do it well, right? You need people um, compacting. You need people. You, I, ideally, you want multiple pits as well. So once one batch is fermented, you, you want people moving it. and It's tons of different stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. It's fun, though, but I just don't think I could do it all by myself. I could wrap bales, yeah, but I think on the scale chatter talking about, it's like the multiplayer stuff we used to do with the with all the corn chaff in the in the bunkers and then compacting it, and we had the big the big machine with the conveyor belts on it to chuck it into the uh, the biogas thing. That that needs a lot of people, I think. new kitten poop feast yes absolutely you should a strong name that's a fantastic idea I need to top up anything else. Wood is fine for now, and also planks are just backing up because we need to expand the uh, the furniture production. Still loads of wheat, wheat flour. God, there's so many planks, and it looks like we still haven't made a canola oil yet. Still working on it. So I think we're going to do, these two fields are going to be canola again, which means we'll want to plant them tomorrow. So we can start prepping the fields now so that we'll have uh, another harvest to make uh, more oil with next, uh, next year, right? we have to cultivate cultivate and then probably de-stone unless it's just uh, small stones that we can roll into the field oilseed radish is an off year crop oh that's cool okay
Oh, interesting. He'll only go as fast as you um, put the cruise control. That's, that's weird. How's this guy doing? He's about to miss a spot. Yeah, yeah, we're producing oil, yeah. It just hasn't... It, it's only produced uh, 600 liters, so there's not a pallet of it yet. But yeah, it, it's, it's producing. Well, it says that it's producing, at least. bags if the canola doesn't go down? What does that mean? It's a mod conflict. Oh, right. Oh, I see. Liftable. Oh, the, the mod. The liftable bags mod. Oh, is that why the... Uh, the totals are all weird. Liftable bags is breaking it. So I gotta disable liftable bags. I mean, I don't really need liftable bags anyway, because I got, if I wanted, I can just super strength it with the uh, lumberjack, right? I'll um I'll disable it in a minute. In fact, I'll do it now while I think to do it. Where is it? Liftable pallets and big bags. Yeah, I can still load them. I can still um, load them manually, Dowie. Okay, let's see now. Production canola oil. No, it's still uh, it's still pretty busted. The numbers, at least. But it does seem to be producing canola oil. The, the amount is crazy. Like, I, there's no way I have that much canola. It's saying I have, like, 175,000 liters of it, which, I mean, may, I might have, like, 20,000 at best. <laughs> his task is complete. It's not. It is not complete. No. 
No, the cedar I have is not a direct, um, a direct one. It's definitely not. like a little tiny bit missed. All right, well that's the canola harvest complete. guy uh, tomorrow and it needs some fuel maybe now is a good time to fill up that um, that thing and then we can refuel this guy Move. So what's going to happen with this canola then? Is it just... I don't know where the conflict could be. Oh, we got... I guess this is the issue with running so many mods. How's the field going? It's looking pretty good. Probably could do with getting a bigger cultivator, but... Fill it up here? No. We gotta do it at the pump. That's gonna take a long time. my money trickle away how much how many how many liters of uh, fuel do we do you think I need just like maybe fill it up to like 20 percent That'll be enough, eh, for now? Think it's gonna be 20% of the vehicle? No, come on. It won't be 20%. It'll be like 15. Well, it was still much quicker doing it, it this way because this thing is so damn slow, it's insane. Yeah, no, like, he can have a, 
he can have a refill and he's all set for his big day tomorrow. And when I say big day, I mean, oh my God, he's got a big day. Yeah, it's a big day. Is there, um, there's no weeds or anything in this field, is there? No. No, just stones. S just, um, just small stones appear. Actually, we can roll these in, right? Or we could just collect them. I mean, we can collect them for the lime. We need the lime anyway. We're gonna need it for the for this field. Uh, actually, we got so much lime right now. Ah, uh, I don't know. The the uh, the combine used half of the uh, fuel. <laughs> it's fine. That's why we bought it. I don't know if this is really that necessary. I guess we could just let uh, we just let Al do it. Buy next? What do we need next? The 500k harvester? Is that what we're doing next? Bees? Oh, bees is a good shout, actually. We could get some more bees. Honey is a nice, nice, quick money as well, isn't it? I, I think the harvest was about 40,000 liters of canola. Possibly. What are you doing? What are you doing?
He's done the full reverse to get to this other part of the field. It looks like he's going to carry on, though. All right. Fine. I can't get through here. I'll just put it here. We don't need the baler for anything. We might need the weeder next month. Or the month after, I'm not sure. We'll see. What's the next biggest cultivator? Which one are we using right now? We're using this one, right? Five meters. This is five meters. 5.7 to 8. 6 meters. 7.5. 8.4. We could probably get this one. It's 87 grand though. Jesus. It's not cheap. Oh yeah, I'll check the sales in a second. Oops. Sales? Uh, no, it's the same. It's just this crazy Mr. Bean tractor. Let's <laughs> go, Mr. Bean tractor on sale. Hello. doing a primarily first person playthrough it spices the game up a bit i don't know how you do it i actually really like the uh like the these views because i can look at everything else too i don't mind sometimes going into first person but i'd hate to play the whole game first person First person is more realistic. I know, but I feel like real realism like went out the window the moment we started actually making money. At least we can go fast with this thing. Jesus. It still, still might be better to get a, a bigger cultivator because for the big field. <laughs> oh my god. 
No, I didn't get the Children of the Corn horror mod this time. I, I used it last time, and it was like uh, really, really scary and spooky. But in the end, I think everybody just got really tired of it. Just wanted to change it up a bit, you know. I'm sick of being known as the Children of the Corn streamer, you know? I want to be known for something different now. I had to pardon my French a lot during that one, yes. is picking up stones <laughs> so that we can make lime with it. Anyway, we gotta lime these this field actually. There's a lot of uh, a lot of prep work to do for the for these fields. We're gonna plant uh, tomorrow. We're gonna plant some canola tomorrow. Harvest the sorghum and then plant some wheat in the sorghum field. Say collect rocks and put them in a bucket mod and you could make your AI do it I would do it all the time I would love to be I would love to just be driving around in my in my tractor in the field and then there's just a bunch of people with buckets picking up rocks I would love that with the whip well I mean if I had a horse instead of a tractor and a whip <laughs> I mean I told my kids the, the scarecrow joke yesterday. Why did the why did the scarecrow win a medal? For being outstanding in his field? <laughs> what was the reaction? Ah it wasn't that great. You know. Boo! Okay, come on. They're little kids. I thought they'd find it funny. They did not. You don't trust stairs? They're always up to something. <laughs> oh, I think that one's worse. Giso, I think the scarecrow joke is not as bad as that one.
what's round and angry, a vicious circle? Oh my god, man. Like a madman. Like like a madman. I think we have to buy this big cultivator. Or at least something slightly bigger than this, because cultivating that field after the sorghum is harvested is gonna be with this thing is gonna be uh, uh, <laughs> it's not gonna be great. I forgot that we only had a tiny little cultivator. Was it was the big one? Eighty thousand? Eighty thousand something? Ah, it's fine. We'll we'll, uh, we'll sell a load of stuff, um, in between hopefully and then we'll run a cycle through the night to do a sale uh, and then that might give us enough because we'll be able to sell this one too right not for that much but So close to the to the billion, I can I can smell it, I can taste it. I wonder how Al's doing with the with the rock collection over there. Still going, I just paid him. Have I heard about the one about the beaver and the firefighter that walked into a bar? No, I haven't heard that. I don't know that one. Is it good? I bet you anything right now Al is doing a full reverse up that length of that field to try to collect a rock. Oh, I did not know that about keeping your harvester header repaired. I'll repair it before tomorrow. Thank you. I didn't know that. It's a good tip.
We gotta do the uh, the not so square bit now. still so much field left to do. We, we really need the bigger cultivator. I'm spoiled now because we have that big seeder and it only took like two seconds to seed that whole field before. Now I'm like, oh shit, I have to do everything way faster than this. Could I tempt you to uh, maybe a spot of... <laughs> some new songs in this what in the schlager playlist come on we listened to like country funk oh we haven't listened to disco in a while we can listen to disco if you want there's always euro pop no there's no christmas schlager unfortunately Hang on a second, I know what we can listen to. You've just given me a, a great idea. Let me get right on it. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for... Holy crap, it's not even on here. Okay. Hold on, I got you. Thank me, no, thank you. Put <laughs> your <Schlager> back on. <laughs> you asked for something different.
That's the Axel roll spin right there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh man, it's been so long since we listened to this. playing when we listened to this a lot. What game was it? Was it Minecraft? Oh, City Skylines, of course, yeah. Because it was on uh, Paradox Radio, that's right. all Cornell at the end there. Do you hear that? Okay, but look, I found something really good. I found something we, else that we can listen to before I get DMCA'd into Oblivion. Okay, check this out. Yeah. It's all the old... It's 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 all the it's all the paradox games. Stellaris, Europa Universalis 3, Crusader Kings 2. Yes, please. whole field. That crazy MF he's done it. Uh, I love I love Flute Boy just as much as the next person. But can we have a little bit of, of respect for Loot Boy. No respect for Loot Boy? All right. Okay, Al. He's back on it. He's back once again. What's next? Oh, I recognize this. I think this is Stellaris, right?
Yeah, Stellaris soundtrack is great. Yeah, it's really good. There's some songs on uh, on the new um, cities. One of the new radio stations on City Skylines that has like some very Stellaris sounding music on it. strip. This is, this is, uh, we're like zoomed in. We're on one of the planets in Stellaris while our um, illustrious overlord is uh, commanding things from space. I'm just down here get, getting some crops ready for the local town <laughs> doing my part. They're having a huge space battle up there. Guess what I'm doing? Cultivating a field. It's just as important. All right, cultivating is done for now. Huge jump. Oh, some bread's ready. I didn't even know if we really need the sprayer anymore, but we might need it in case some weeds get out of control, so I guess it's worth keeping. Now, let's get this field limed up. Quite a bit of lime. If your empire trade has the trait that lets them use food instead of minerals to build ships, you're basically creating weapons of mass destruction. Well, that's true, yeah. I mean, that's exactly the trait that we're going for.
no, uh, this is not, it's not a very widespread that we have here. I don't let, don't let looks deceive you. We need a, a wider spread. God, I need a cultivator too. I should have thought about this stuff ahead of time, actually, instead of buying. What else? Well, we haven't really bought anything. Just a little fuel truck, I suppose. I don't think we bought anything like overly useless recently. There is an upgrade for this, yeah. It's 18 grand, I could get it, but I kind of want to save up for the cultivator. We're going to need it more. The spread on this isn't incredible, but at least it's bigger than five meters. Three meters. Five meters. I think the current cultivator we have is five meters, which is very small. I don't know what game this is from. I've never even heard this song before. Maybe Crusader Kings or EU3 or something? It does sound like a bit of a CK song, doesn't it? I have to go back and do this little strip. I don't think it would have been enough to get it. I think it would have left like an even smaller strip, so it's probably better to just do it like this, right? The pH on this field is already pretty good, so we it doesn't take as much lime now. I think the first application of lime on that other field is, is the big one, and then after that, just topping it up isn't too bad. I wouldn't have left a strip. No, but probably not, but also AI would have just backed up the entire length of the field and gotten stuck and everything else, so. Oh, look, this strip, it won't let me, uh, Look, it's it it's considered done. <laughs> oh, it like spreads a bit. So it doesn't look like it's done, but it's um it's uh which which we call it? Precision farming that does that, right? So it is a little cursed, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? But I I can't I won't be able to lime that now, but as far as the game is concerned, the field is adequately limed. 
Yeah, the spots of high pH are bad. I don't know what's caused them or how to get rid of them. Oh, it says it's a different soil type. No, it just says loam. 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 Yeah, it's picking it up as loam. It says it's loam. Home alone. My money. Home alone. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> All right. I think I should go and fill up the uh, the spreader a little bit. Well, that field's done at least. Is there a mine or oil, Derek? Yeah, there's a mine. I've, I've never used it, though. Oil? No, I don't think there's oil. There might be mods, though. I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of mods for this game. Sorry, sea bags. <laughs> you can't come with me. <laughs> Hot stuff coming through. doing with here with here with this with this one oh, he's doing pretty good actually let's start we can start liming up so if we cultivate We'll just get small stones that we can just roll back into the field when when we roll. So we don't. I don't even know if we really need the stone picker anymore. Because honestly, I think just buying bags of lime is is fine. I guess we. I guess we still need it to remove the heavy stones from new fields, though. So maybe we should hang on to it. 
That's a good point, actually. I completely forgot about that. This, this field over here, some of this is uh, loam and sandy loam, but then a lot of it is uh, silty clay. So there's probably some some decent fields like adjacent to this. Maybe just up one. But basically, the uh, the field that we picked to start with, not really knowing much about anything at the time when we picked it, uh, has the worst goddamn soil you can imagine. <laughs> And costs a lot of money to to prepare, just for a re a really subpar yield. It was a bit of a rookie area. I mean, at, at the same time, though, I mean, it's not really any way to know until you start plowing fields and finding out what's underneath. There's, there's like another uh, blue bit here. What is this? Target reached. Sandy loam. So the pH here is through the... Look at that. It's eight at this point. I think anything he misses will just roll back in anyway, right? enjoyed playing farming simulator I think this is the most fun I've had playing farming simulator of all the times we well except for when we did the horse rescue that was kind of fun but I have enjoyed the progress on this it's it, it's long and slow but it's really satisfying
that trailer just move a little? What did do that? 26 liters of honey. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. We've made a whole pallet of canola oil. Natural oils. Yes. There's no way we have this much canola. I don't know what's uh, what's happened here, but it is it is actually making pallets. I think this needs to be fixed, the header. What I'll do is I'll bring it out. Uh... Oh, this guy's almost done. Here, look, I'll get this. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Oh, maybe not. This guy's full up. Gotta go drop these stones on us. 2,000 liters of stones. through the bush band. What point did he make it to? Here. Oh, other way. Oh, he's almost done. Bless him. He Al's almost done this job. Yeah, yeah, you can put it on, yeah. No, no, you're fine. Okay, I'm gonna get the trailer for uh, this header and go repair it. I don't know, it may, it'll be a lot quicker than running it back with the, um, with the actual harvester, right? Because it's so slow. This guy's really fast. Uh, it's on the floor where the dryer was. Should be. Oh no, it's under there. See, in where that chair is. Move the chair. The chair. Oh, it's that. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Where's the harvester? Oh, it's out here. Check this out. take this bad boy to the shop <laughs> get him fixed up what happened to it it's just it just needs a, a, a little fix it's just a little worn out from years of har years of harvesting We get a workshop at the uh, at the farm at some point. The trailer is fine. Four hundred forty-eight bucks to repair this. Uh, we can repair this too while we're here. We might as well. How's it doing for gas? Oh, it's fine. 
Actually, let's just get, let's, we'll just fill it up while we're here. We might as well. Doesn't cost much. Thank you. Um, just, just that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, perfect. Thank <laughs> The one above me, please. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Check it out now. The funk so rubber. Right about now. The funk is so rubber. I'll just leave that there. Actually, I could just go across here. There's nothing planted here. I'm so old sometimes. <laughs> I know. <coughs> Sorry. I am old. Man, is he not done? What is he doing? Mate. I gotta I I gotta take you off the case. I don't know what you're doing. There's like five stones left to pick up. He was just off on one. I, don't, I just didn't know what he was doing. <clears throat> Have I played WoW Sod? What's that? Seasons of Season of Discovery. Is that the one, Bruce? Is that uh hardcore? Classic Plus. No, I haven't played it. I haven't uh, I never really got into any of the classic stuff. I played WoW during Classic, which was enough Classic WoW to last me a whole lifetime. I didn't feel like I really wanted to play it again. I was, my my guild uh, was uh, was the first on our server to kill Ragnaros back in the day. Yeah, Yogs, old Yogs. Really old Yogs. This is before Lewis even joined, actually. Lewis joined near the end of uh, TDC. Oh, 
way, way back, Yogs, yeah. Simon was in. Simon was uh, was was in the original. What future games do I have on the schedule? We're going to try Sims 4, the rental thing, the DLC, and uh, House Flipper 2 will play for sure. Otherwise, uh, I don't know. Cities 2, uh, probably worth going back to pretty soon. Probably after Christmas, maybe like one more patch. There's a big update tomorrow for Kerbal Space Program too. Oh, I hope um, I hope that game is um, gets some patches and becomes good. Uh, it's it's apparently not very good currently. It's just a bit broken, right? All right, liming. Done. I think we're planting tomorrow, right? I think we're gonna do canola again. I, we can do canola again, but this canola building is fucked. It says that I have way more canola than I do, and I have no idea why. It's producing oil as well, but there's no way I harvested that much canola. It's a bug caused by the liftable pallets mod. I disabled that, but it doesn't seem to have uh, fixed it. Do I? Do you think I need to delete the building and replace it? I could try to delete System Thirty Two, but I. I don't want to delete the whole folder because I store a lot of mp3s in there too. Might be time for a new farm, yeah. If this one's like completely ruined now, we might have to restart unfortunately. Okay, wheat flour is still producing. Flour we got enough of for bread. I think wood is fine. We still have we have haven't even used any wood because we're so backed up on planks. So we're waiting for tomorrow now for um well we need some money for a cultivator. And we're waiting for tomorrow so that we can harvest all this uh sorghum and uh also plant I guess just more canola, but... And then during the year we'll have to delete this factory and replace it and hope that it works. How do I get all my canola out of the factory first, or can I not? You want to go back to Schlager? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. We have to do a restart, though. Yes, baby. Do 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 do
doodly doo 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 doo. Cultivator, I think the one that we want to get is like. We're currently using this one, which is is small. I mean, even this one is not not any bigger, to be honest. I don't know how. Well, I guess when it opens up, it's just not like, not that big. What's the what? Why would I pay forty seven thousand for this one if it's? What is it? This one is 5.7 to 8 meters. So you can just, you can use it. We don't have to get this big one. I was going to get this one because it's like 8.4 meters. But if this one can go to 8 meters. 320 horsepowers. This is a shallow cultivator. Oh. Shallow cultivator used for shallow cultivation or seed bed creation of fields. Oh, can I use one of these to actually make fields instead of the plow? What's a seed bed creation? Yeah, this one's huge, but this is also a shallow cultivator. So this one's only 48 grand. Maybe we should just get this one. Disc harrows? Shallow cultivation, shallow cultivation. Yeah, these ones do shallow cultivation as well. This one does, this one is six meters, 45K. This is 5 meters for 35k. Oh, shallow is small rocks and rapid weed growth? Okay, I don't want shallow. Can I use one of these? 6 meters for 42k. I think I should just get this one for now. 47k. Oh no, sorry, this one. 48k, right? Subsoilers can create fields? I don't know if they can. It prepares fields for next sowing. It can be used instead of a plow. Alright. 3 meters. 8 meters. I can create a field with this thing. 8 meters. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab this one. 48k. We'll be able to get that after this uh, this load. It'll be better than the one that we got, right? We can just sell the other one that we got.
No, come on. Not like this. It is August. Some weeds have appeared, but that's okay because we're going to seed over them like we did last um, season, right? the time a little bit now because I think this is enough of a, a load to get the stuff that we need So without the liftable pallets and uh, stuff, I have to use super strength to pick up all this stuff now. Except for the flowers, I still seem to be able to pick them up. But honey, I can't pick up anymore. Maybe we should get a forklift. We'll add it to the list. It's always something, eh? Still grow oh yeah of course it's not uh, harvest time yet it's next month I was gonna say what the fuck did I plant there <laughs> we harvest next month God, I got scared for a sec there I don't know what the hell is going on naturally pick up a pallet of eggs. I think we'd have to use the forklift without that mod.
Oops. All right, good load. A real solid load. I'm lifting with uh, with my back, as usual. I hate lifting with my legs. I like to put all the strain on my back. Oh yeah, the canola oil. Oh god, there's loads of it. Thank you for the reminder. I would have completely forgotten. Holy crap, we got all this canola oil to sell too. accident. God, this trailer. Such a good buy, hasn't it been? Jeez. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a cedar. It's only six meters. This is a sprayer with like, it's like a, a built-in one. And this is a baler. This can make big square bales. Which you don't really need right now. The, um, the, the canola um, manufactures quickly. We'll definitely plant some more canola. Keep that um, production line going. Be good money. Nice! 51k! No, I don't need to plant canola, but we, we need to sort the the, uh, the amount of canola out because I, I think a mod messed it up. I did not uh, harvest 170,000 liters of canola. water there for now. Seeding more canola.
Pardon my French. Sorry for speaking French so um, aggressively. line it up like this and then I'll just reverse so that we get the rest of it yes oh chef oh looks like there's gonna be a little overlap mm. oh my god this cedar is so good <laughs> oh, compared to the little one jeez How long it took us to do this field yesterday at the little one? All right, we gotta make sure that we get this bit on the side here. We can square it up after, but getting the uh, getting right onto the side here is the important bit. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. Too lazy to go back and do it. I love that it applies the fertilizer at the same time. So all we gotta do is roll this. I have to roll it tomorrow. I gotta go, once we're done seeding this, I gotta go. We'll seed the other one tomorrow, roll them both, and then um, we'll get through to uh, September, harvest all that sorghum. And then, um, uh, we, I mean, we did like a, wait. When did we start? Oh no, we started after the harvest, right? We didn't even get through a whole year today. We got a lot done though. We built a lot of stuff. I think we have to replace that oil factory though. Because I think that mod messed up the um, canola count. I have to go, I'm sorry. I do, I have to. I got stuff. I'm around tomorrow though. Oh shit. Oh, we'll have to go. Um, we can't overlap too much here because of the trees, right? We gotta buy that land and sort that out.
I think before we do the other field, we need a bit more fertilizer. Seed, not so much, funnily enough. It's fertilizer. That was so quick. Right, chat. I gotta go. We did good. We got we got loads done. There's more to do tomorrow. Like I said, I will be back tomorrow. And we can continue then. Yes? Good timing on the Schlager, actually. Just ended, just in time. Um, listen, uh, thanks so much for watching sorry that music scared me thank you so much for watching i appreciate it um i hope uh, you have a good rest of your day and i'll be back uh, tomorrow to do some more farming so please join me then thanks for the subs thanks for the resubs thanks for the donations i appreciate all the support um i'll see you tomorrow lol lots of love see you then peace bye now bye